Hello absolutely nobody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die Survival Guide. It's now day 8. I hear a zombie. Hello nurse. Oh, throat shot, one shot kill. Anyway, sorry, it's now day 8. We survived the horde. We grabbed the equipment that we wanted from our inventory. And we have now made our way up or south down the road. So we were over there to the right. And the plan is now to follow this road down. Up, down, whichever way you want to look at it. And hopefully find either a new town, city, or crossroads. So we're now here. We haven't come that far really. Um, you can see where we were. Pretty much just bottom of the middle of the screen there. We've come down the road and we're now going to just follow it to its completion, hopefully. Um, that looks like another road now. Right, so we've got a choice. I'll just take to this guy down before I do anything. I'm just going to sense me from quick. Perfect. He's coming over. A couple of arrows should do it. Now you really do notice the difference when you've got a, a higher level bow. Um, okay, so here's the choice. Do we go south? Or do we go north? So we head south. Now you see, I don't really know how big this map is. It could go on forever. Um, or do we go north? I'm going to choose the wrong way, whichever way I choose. So I think... I think we'll go north. We'll stick with the plan we had at the start. Didn't know that road was there. So we'll keep going north. I know I've just made it wrong. Yeah, whatever. So we'll head down this way. So we've, we've got... As you can see in the bottom right hand side of my screen, I've started to make gunpowder. Uh, I cleared up the inventory space from my um, potassium nitrate that I had, mixed it with coal, and now I'm making gunpowder. Um, making the gunpowder will also uh, level up my gunsmithing skills, which is always good. So when I do get around to um, making an actual weapon, it's probably it will it'll be a higher level anyway. So I think I've also got between 30 and 40 skill points to spend. So I will, once we've found somewhere to stay, there you go, there's gunsmithing's just leveled up to level 11, which is, yeah, perfect. Um, for doing nothing, apart from crafting while we're walking. Anyway, so once we've found somewhere we want to stay, I'm hoping it's going to be relatively soon, I'll lay down my forge that I've got in my inventory, make a storage pot, Put everything in and start fortifying that place as a semi-permanent location for me to, s to stay. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is that, oh here we go, typically this is another one of those houses with a forge in it. Well they used to have forges in one of the older releases, I don't know why that would have changed. So if you go around, like you can see it's got a stone stone first level it's a door locked and it should be yeah there you go <laughs> it's a shame we didn't walk 10 minutes longer during a couple of nights ago we could have we could have shacked up here and had a forge anyway so I'll take out this zombie nice and easy yeah I'll take that Beaker and a, I think that might have been going alcohol. One shot him. Have another arrow anyway. Another empty glass jar. He exp <laughs> Dirty zombie farting on me. Okay, so we'll, we'll have a look. We'll have a look anyway. It's a shame because this would have been a good base. It's got stone walls. It's got a forge so we could have forged some different weapons. Um, but again, the upstairs isn't really that secure because it's got a stairway coming up. 
I don't hear any about for the time being. Again, it's another nice location. Anyway, let's move on. At least we know that those style houses have a forge in them still. So if we see another one in a, I suppose, better location, because again, we are in the middle of nowhere here by the looks of things. There's no, there isn't any big towns or cities that I can see um, in the distance terrain. Oh, over the shoulder again. And again. Four shots. And he's down. Headshot. Now that definitely missed him, but apparently not. It was, we've got a 371 arrow, so I'm not actually too worried about missing a few shots. Uh, okay. So again, we'll head down here. You can kind of see the road goes down, sweeps to the right a little bit. Um, so again, we'll keep we'll keep going. I am hoping we'll find somewhere decent soon, isn't it? Is that another? There's another forge house. So a couple of forge houses we knit, we know about. Now in in the um, PC version of this, you can actually use a wrench on a forge, and when it breaks, you pick it up. But in this version, if you do that. It just breaks the forge and you end up with a bunch of uh, stone which doesn't help anybody. And there's an island. It would be cool to set up a base on an island. Hmm. Again, perhaps for later on, when it's easier to get here, if I've got if I ever find the mini bike book and make a mini bike, I might set up a, a little location on that island. I can build a bridge across to it using just wood bricks. Wood frame, sorry. I will, we'll see. I'll just keep going. There's some corn there. I'll go and get that. I'll pick up the corn. That might be handy for later. And there's another smelly zombie. There's a big guy. Shoulder shot. Get him in the crotch? No. <laughs> Another glass jar. I don't, don't need that. There's a deer there. I, I have got it by inventory. Does that road just end? Oh, come on. Every time I choose a direction. From now on, I'm going to go right. I'll go north, and then I'll just head south. Because the road just ends here. And I'm cold as well. It's 44 degrees. Is it a glitch? Does it... Does it re-hook up somewhere else like the other one did? I think that's it, you know. Oh, now this is just frustrating. Four. All right, okay. So we're heading south, guys. <laughs> what can I say? Right, so change of plan. We'll um, I'll head over the mountains and in the train, and we'll um, go up. I'll see if I can find a high point actually and get a good view of the distant terrain to see if there's anywhere because it doesn't look like there's anything city wise over there because you'd be able, there's not even a road you, you can see roads and you can see town layouts from far away but it does just look like I'm thinking the random gen map we have might not be the best. Okay, alright. Shut up, zombie. I'm thinking. Okay, alright, let's let's head to the top of let's head to the top of that mountain over to the right. Should be able to get a good view of 
everything that's, that's around. It's not too far away. Although I might have stamina. So, head up there. We should be able to get a half decent view of the terrain. Um, and if we can see a road or even an outline of a town, we'll head that way. Again, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm not worried about time for the time being. It's also, you know, day seven, day eight, so it's the day after day seven, obviously. Um, but there shouldn't be hordes of zombies attacking me tonight. So, if I have to make a a wood frame house just out of you know four by four by four by four, I should be safe enough. I don't need to fight him. I'll just go past him. Okay. So there's the desert and there's the Greenlands. There's a the cactus. Okay, so we're nearly there. And I'm not too worried about getting wood or stone or feathers right now. That is a nice terrain. I mean, we have covered a lot of the map already. You know, sometimes, depending on there's, there's where we were, down there somewhere, for the night seven. We followed this road up to a dead end and we're heading back down. Anyway, sorry, you sometimes find that you're lucky enough to find a really good town and a good a house outside of the town to populate within the first two or three days. And you'll find that for the first, what are you doing up there? One more shot should do it. And yeah, yeah, your head's gone. Anyway, sorry, I get sidetracked. Um, I'll say sometimes you do find that if you find a place really quite early that you want to settle down in and fortify, you um, you don't move very far in the first what fourteen days. You've you've got this if you've set up next to a city, you um, you raid the city. You you um, set yourself up in a decent house. You fortify it as a more cult. You fortify it, and then you spend the next seven days building up to getting the, the horde. And there's nothing near the side of this mountain. Uh, so, yeah, so, but so we, we've done it the opposite way, and we've gone exploring at the start. Is oh, is that a town? I might be wrong. That might. That might have been a town down to the left there. Let's just have a look. My stamina's about gone. That's some more cult. It is. That's what a town looks like at the outline. You can see the roads going up and down. Make myself feel sick there. Okay. Right. So, if I'd gone south at that T-junction, we would have been here two hours ago in game time. Ooh, I nearly fell off a cliff. Yeah, look at that. If I'd gone south, I would have been here a long time ago. Anyway, right, okay. So, we'll head into the town. I would like to find a cracker book and a working stiff tools. Not too bothered about a shotgun messiah right now. There's, there's plenty of coal around here. They're the buildings I like to fortify and stay in. Three stories high. You can do the. There's another building that's quite good as well. Uh, what's that? Shamway Foods? Yeah, so you can fortify those types of buildings there really easily. Take away the bottom level stairs and just use like your own ladders or something to get up. And it's relatively easy again to fight the horde off. I've done that before. Um, if you've watched my very first or second seven days video where I was fighting off the, the I think it was, might have been the day 49 horde, possibly something like that, um, you'll find that that's what I was using. Um, but again, I'm not going to settle in the town because it'll stop the town from respawning and we want it to respawn. But for the time being, 
half three in the afternoon. 40 skill points to spend. Brilliant. Um, what I'll do is I will find either a work and stiff tools, a cracker book, or I'll go back to that shamways and I'll what, I'll what I'll do is what I'll do what I did in the second night. So I'll hunker down in the toilet at the back, reinforce it, do a bit of inventory management, and what's this? Gas and pies, pie and gas, whatever you want to call it. So if I, if I can find somewhere to stay, there's you can stay in there. That's not so bad. I've done that before. Um, I can hear something. Yeah, so you can break into there quite easily and fortify the doors, and then just set set down in the uh, the shop. But I'll I'll do a. Um, there's plenty of roads in and out of this town as well. So anyway, so I'll set down a temporary base here again, just for maybe a couple of days while I investigate the town. Um, there's a menacing looking zombie on the road. And then I might investigate two or three kilometers down each one of these side roads tomorrow. Oh, is that the municipal building I see? Now again, Take your water, but you can have your stinky sandwich. Um, again, in these buildings here, I'll come into this building tomorrow as well. This looks like a, this actually looks like quite a good town. Uh, if it's got this, um, is this a police station? This might be a police station, which means either way, the the buildings or the layout are the same. Yeah, it's a police station, so you can go upstairs and there's a munitions box. There's a safe to break into. Um, and there's a couple of cells with dead bodies that have some decent stuff. Uh, so I'll keep going. We're still it's only half four, not even half four. I'll see if I'll try and do a lap of the town because I can always end up back in that shamaze at the start unless I find something better. Get down, fat man. He's not dead. He's going to get back up. Um, there he is. One more, two more shots. <laughs> this guy's taking a lot of arrows. And he's down. Have that for good measure. Yeah, okay, so continue on the lap. If I find I work in stiff tools or a cracker book, I'll stop there. If not, I'll go back all the way around to the sham, waste food, I'll break in there and we'll stay there for the night, but okay. This is what we're looking for. Um, is that a cracker book? Perfect, okay. Um, so we'll go in here. As I said before, I've got 40 skill, I've got plenty of food and water, so I'm not worried about that. But I've also got 40 skill points to spend. So I think what I'll do is I'll break in Go straight to the back. I'll give it a quick look around to make sure there's no zombies in there. Straight to the back. Break down the toilet door. <laughs> and to. Of course. I walk up to someone and there's not. Was he there all along? He probably just spawned in, didn't he? He's gone. What have you got? Nothing. Right, okay. So, we'll break in. Have a quick scout. Get round to the toilet at the back. Ah, uh, where did you come from? And you decreased my health. You're going to get axed. He didn't even make a noise. How annoying! You're dead. He broke my chain of thought. I might do a lap just to make sure no one's. Right, in we go. Make sure no one's. It's really dark in here. I really need a headlight so you guys can see better. Um, okay, plenty of. It's just a standard cracker book, which is good. So, locked. I will break in here. 
I will make a door. the door in the doorway um, and then what I'll do is I'll spend the night here I don't think I need to put down my campfire or anything like that right now because I haven't really got anything to cook and I've got plenty of food and water anyway um, and what I'll do is I'll spend my for I'll, I'll get rid of that I'll spend my 40 skill points that I've got I'll probably throw it all into scavenging or maybe some quality Joe uh, yeah plenty of food plenty of water should be okay. Let's have a quick look at skill points before um, I call an end to this video. Yeah, so I'll more than likely throw all of these skill points into scavenging, maybe one into quality Joe, um, and then when I raid the bookshelves in the morning, I should have um, a decent amount of skill to pick up some good stuff. Um, and then I was so close to the edge of the city when I was walking up there. Yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, I'm going to call it. Uh, thank you if you watch. Thank you very much again. Um, I don't normally say it, but please like, subscribe, and comment if you feel like it. And I will see you all the next one.